Good morning, it's Randy Jenkins. We're going to talk about one acre properties today. And let's, uh, here's my contact information. So if you're watching this video, it's likely that you are accessing it due to the marketing of one of my properties. It's likely the property on Drayton and it did go under contract, but I'm still going to go ahead and do this video. But we're going to start off right now with looking at the recent solds in the Hudson and Spring Hill market over the last 180 days, 47 properties in this criteria have sold. Let's go ahead and tighten this up to 45 days and see that there were eight properties that sold. And if you watch my videos, you know I'm a big, I'm big on talking about looking at the pendings and the souls to get an idea of what's happening in the market. This property right here, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, $289,000, sold for full price in three days. That's $178 a square foot. 66 days on the market. They were asking $289. It sold over the asking price for $139 a square foot. And that's an actual single family home. Here we have a mobile home on Evening Star. They were listed at $339. It sold for $310. Sold price was $248 a square foot. Took 39 days. Thomas Boulevard, a block home, $193 a square foot. And these are all one acre properties. This one was $385,000. It sold for $375,000. $163 took 120 days. $403,000. You know what? I'm not even going to go to the higher priced ones because if you're, if you're looking at this video, it's likely you came in based on uh, the property I'm marketing on Drayton. Right now, there's 29 properties in this criteria that are contract pending. Uh, you know, you can always throw out the, the low price ones. This is 672 square feet, $111 a square foot. Went under contract at 75 grand. We don't know what the sales price will be. This is a tear down, uh, 137 days on the market. The guy bought it for a song and he's going to make 50 or $75,000 on that. Here we go, Kent Grove, 924 square feet, went under contract at $153 a square foot in six days. This is not acreage, that is a condo. That realtor should be shot for putting down the acreage. This is Drayton, this is the property that you likely came in on if you're watching this video. It took four days to sell it this time, 2,000 square feet, works out to $105 a square foot. Galveston, 54 days on the market, 1,064 square feet, $215 a square foot. They're asking for backup orders. And Tyrone, $229,000, 924 square feet. When you get these small square footage ones, you know the list price per square foot is gonna be high. This is $248 a square foot. I'll do a couple of more and then we'll go to what you really are interested in. And that's the active ones. This Greensboro, $234,000 went under contract when they were asking $161 a square foot, took 146 days. I actually marketed that one. Todd Trail, seven days on the market, $158,000. I mean, $158 a square foot. Choctaw, $192 a square foot. And please, Everything about valuation has to do with amenities versus price. And then to compare them, once you are in agreement, the amenities are comparable, is to look at the price per square foot. This is one acre, two bedroom, one bath, 37 days on the market, $73,000, two bedrooms, one bathroom, no interior pictures. Kent Grove, it's, it's back there in the back, back part of Kent Grove where there's uh, some pretty uh, 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 dirt roads and mud when it rains. This is two days on the market, $140,000. Uh, I think the real estate term for this is, oh dear, $200 a square foot. That's, that's just way, way overvalued. This is $165,000. They moved this. It's $176 a square foot. For 175,000, this is Greensboro. I've been up there a couple of times. And this is arguably the best deal. Uh, not at this price, but I would definitely make an offer on this. 
and they're at $94 a square foot. And that's because it has all this uh, area, $1,845 a square foot. I mean, 1,845 square foot Ponderosa Park is not on an acreage. Here's another one in Kent, 43 days in the market, $297 a square foot. And that's because this square footage is only 672 square feet, which means that the list price per square foot will go through the roof on these small ones, $221 a square foot. This is uh, Pine Ridge at Sugar Creek, which is a condominium, another realtor. Alexson is being rehabbed, it's $250,000. So it comes out to $240 a square foot. And this one actually is a little bit over an acre, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's one and a quarter acres and uh, they should have that in the uh, uh, in the description up there, but that's currently being rehabbed. Bermondsey, Bermondsey, $176 a square foot. Now this is nice. I, I would change the order of the pictures and include interior pictures. Whoa, yeah, no, look at this. All right, $264,000. Obviously it's overpriced because it's got 213 days on the market. And that's... Uh, that tells you, but it is nice gazebos and sheds. And what I want to do now is just jump back into the single line because uh, Peace Boulevard, 750,000, Monte Verde, really nice address, 510,000, Orange Hill, 460,000, 460, Dansville, 439,000. And we got up to Bermondsey. Uh, let's look at this Thomas Boulevard. And then everything after this is over 300 grand. This is asking $193 a square foot. I invite you to call me and get on a Zoom call and look at these properties online with me over the computer and we can really narrow down. You'll be able to say, you know, I really like that or I really don't like that. And that's what it's going to boil down to. We can go out to the property and determine that you're not going to like it. But when we talk about valuation and we talk about amenities and we talk about price per square foot, that's how you know. Is it? Everyone wants to know, is this a good deal? Is this a good deal? And the answer is, the only way to know if it's a good deal is by doing the analysis. Hey, many, many of you may have experience in, I don't know, analyzing stocks or analyzing uh, the big one that a lot of people do right now is... Uh, the, 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 the football and the, and the basketball and the baseball uh, where you pick the players and you, you know, you analyze the, the players and then you pick a team that's called a fantasy football. Yeah. If you know about fantasy football or you've analyzed stocks, hell, if you go shopping for a car and you go from dealership to dealership and you look at, well, they wanted that dealership had, you know, leather seats, but this one's 3000 less, but it doesn't have a CD player. Oh, I found out they, none of them have CD players. Anyway, I'm Randy Jenkins. I really, really am competing hard for business because this whole industry, if you don't know about what's going on with realtors, uh, Google real estate lawsuit and, uh, and remind yourself, or let me tell you, do you remember independent travel agents, they're gone. You go to hotels.com or Travelocity or Expedia, nobody's using independent travel agents. Stockbrokers used to get paid a commission and now you can go online and get free trading, free online trading. Well, realtors, actually buyer's agents might be going away. There might not be any in the future. It might only just be uh, listing agents and uh, MLS may be going away and there'll only be Zillow. Yeah, if you follow me and I, I, I ask you, please follow me. Uh, I put out a lot of content. I do some uh, discussion about the uh, evolution of what's going on in the marketplace, but with what happened with the internet and what happened with um, Black Rocks and Zillows and Open Doors and the way that we shop for real estate, uh, the realtors may not be there for long to uh, help you in your endeavors, but for now I'm here, I'm ready to help. Uh, I've got another 10 or 15 years before I retire. And in the meantime, uh, I challenge you to find somebody to help you meet your real estate needs. And if you can't find anyone else, 
Think of me, Randy, Randall Jenkins, Florida Real Estate Partners. I'm a loan officer. I was 18 years in the financial services industry. I run a real estate investment company. I've actually bought and sold over 670 houses personally. I'm currently managing 11 homes that me and my partners own, but I've got a couple of uh, people on my staff that are realtors, and I invite you to reach out to me and let me be your realtor. Have a great day. Bye now.